Hey Lightweights and welcome back to some more Resident Evil 3. Um, last video we finally made it back to the subway station with Jill. Uh, we had a lot of encounters with Nemesis. We had our first Nemesis like one-on-one -on -one major boss fight that actually went really really well but after that did not go so well. He was chasing us through the streets. I had absolutely no health so I had to reload from a previous save and replay a major chunk of it so that I could try to get through that one section with more health. I was finally successful, very frustrated, but successful. Um, we made it onto the subway and Carlos and one other guy stayed behind because they were still trying to get some people out of the city, some scientists and things like that. Um, so Jill got on the subway. We thought that we were free, but Nemesis landed on the subway car, killing the civilians that were escaping with us. Um, so I'm not really sure what's gonna happen with her because the subway is under attack. Um, and then it left from her and plopped us in Carlos, so we are going to pick this video up playing as Carlos. So I'm really excited to see um, what we do with him. It seems like we're going to be back in the police station, which will be really, really cool because I know that the events of this game take place simultaneously with the events of Resident Evil 2. So it will be cool to see th those overlaps and see how the games kind of mesh together. So I'm really excited to keep playing. I hope that you're enjoying the playthrough so far. If you are and you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. Here we go, you guys. Alright guys, we're back as Carlos. Or we're starting as Carlos, I should say. And we are heading into the police station. Let's just hope Mr. X is not still around. Brad, stop! T. Come on, man. Not you too. Sorry. Sorry. Oh my god, you guys. Shit, it's locked. You stay on the door. I got this fucker. Come get some. Holy shit. Why do you take so much damage? Mm -mm. Hi, Brad. Stars. That could be useful. Um, where'd you go? Where'd that cop go? Don't know, don't care. We got a job to do. If our intel's still worth a damn, then Bard's in the star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. Carlos, take a look at this. I've located the star's office. Remember, Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. How about we stay together hey. instead? Okay. Be careful. Yeah. Please? You too. Just gonna make sure there's nothing in here. <laughs> So Claire hasn't arrived here yet, then. If we just watched him get bitten. And for the life of me, I can't remember his name. Oh shit, you guys, we're gonna have liquors again. No! <laughs> that was weird. ID card security protocols. 
Each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, this same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend your card to anyone. Take great care in using it. If your card goes missing, report it immediately. Alrighty. I'll take it. Okay, I remember that there was a liquor out here in the second game. What there it is. What the hell was that thing? Gave me a heart attack, you guys. Couldn't have been a zombie. Mm. Oh, but that's cool now. We know how we got up there. forgot about those doors. It doesn't seem like we can go into them though. <sighs> Fuck. Ah, here we go. Jesus! Oh, I hate this! <sighs> oh my god! grenade. Where was that? Oh, it's right there. T, you copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Something nasty. All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six.
God, they take so much. Where are you going? Out of ammo. Please give me ammo. have the code for that. This is gonna stay red until I get the combo, right? Unlawful creation and or possession of explosives. Suspect was seen behaving suspiciously at 1442 Box Street on September 18th, 1998. Suspect's person was searched, producing a small explosive and a timed detonator from his inside pocket, leading to arrest on the charges listed above. A search of suspect's home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. Suspect spoke feverishly when questioning began, and at one point questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. Once questioning was resumed, suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for me. I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone understand? The corpse's attack from the shadows. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up, or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming. Soon. Gotta hurry. Burn them. Burn the corpses. Burn them good. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Questioning was ended and a sedative administered. Note. Due to suspect's unstable psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony changed from a moment, from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of a doctor's investigation into suspect's condition. The explosives collected from suspect's person and residence appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonating device upon its admission into evidence. The battery was secured in the safety deposit room. All right, well, that could be helpful.
Oh, I guess we can't go out that door. I kind of wanted to go out there and save. Supply internal relocation notice. Heat resistance, three number combination safe, moves from Starf's office to West office. Nine fifteen seven. Alright, so I can go get that now. cameras killed those things, I'd be set. still stuff in here. Oh, I did that last time too. <laughs> okay, that's better. save one more time so I don't have to do that again. So we're right here. Copy that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is it blocked? reading this, I'm already dead. If you hear any noises coming from the locker, do not open it. Please. While you were out on patrol, I focused on finding a way to get to the other side. I realized that explosives might be our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb, but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room during intake last week. We need that battery if we're going to knock this wall down, so I headed upstairs to find you since I know you have that safety deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound as best I could, but I feel worse and worse. I hope I don't need to spell it out. To spell out why, you must not open the locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of here as fast as you can. Your buddy, Wes. P.S. Don't worry about that $600 I lent you. 
Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> Jesus, what was that? Oh my god, there's just the door shutting. <laughs> huh. This fucking game, you guys, makes me so jumpy. Better not. Yeah, we gotta leave that to jump scare Claire. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Guess we'll be doing this the explodey way. That explains how the hole got in the wall. I kind of just thought it was Mr. X or something. <laughs> That's a new one. <sighs> okay. We don't have any of these combos. Just saved. I feel like that means something's gonna pop out at me soon. Alright, so we need to go to the safety locker room place thing, right? Saving. <laughs> Screw that. <sighs> We're on caution, but I don't know if I want to use that yet. <laughs> Guys, I'm like barely breathing right now. just went juicy. That means you're dead. Stay down. Huh. Okay. We're 
gonna use this because I have a red herb in my locker. <sighs> Breathe. Six, one oh four, one oh nine. <sighs> Thank you. One oh six. cell battery. this while we're here. Reload that. And... Make a break for the save room. <laughs> go, 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 go! Fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh my god! so much assumed it was a liquor. So I should go up. good. We are okay. That shadow just made me jump. <laughs> Fucking hell with this game. Carlos, I've hit a dead end with the terminal here. Gotta head your way. Copy that. It's a bad idea. You're gonna get eaten by the liquor. I just know it. Gotta move. Well, 
if that didn't call the liquor, I don't know what will. What? Oh, damn it! This is ridiculous. Ripped off. Gotta move. Oh, my God, are you kidding me? That's such bullshit. What the hell were you doing in the shower? One at a time. Pick a number. <gasps> Didn't I kill you downstairs, little boy? Thank you. Oh my god, we are like dangerously low. Was totally cheap and I don't even give a shit. Oh my god. <sighs> Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. Now, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand. Oh, my God. Andrew, send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. Did you just walk yeah, by you the liquor? You heard what he said. Now, we can't turn him over to the company. Well, that's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. Now, I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. Huh. 
This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. Report on Mansion Incident. This bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arkley Mountains. On July 23rd, Star's Bravo team was dispatched to the Arkley Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events at the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of Star's. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root cause of all that occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. Damn. Is that Jill in the front row? I wanted to pick it up and look at it more closely. I'll take that. Oops. Thank you. Find that letter is Claire. I love this. It's so cool. Oops. Oh no. We got all our ammo from there. Shoot. Well, got everything in here. Now what? Yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, oh, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. That mean we're not gonna have to deal with the liquor. Please. Actually, I'll take the liquor again. <laughs> Bounces back and forth mid story. Because with Resident Evil 2, it's cool that you could play both, but you had to do one and then the other. With this, it's like more intertwined. I like it. Carlos? Come in. Carlos? Oh, damn it. I guess I'm out of range. New weaponry notice. Good news, limp dicks. I've got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. <laughs> They're called mine rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D, and they will light your fires even hotter than the lover you left back home. 
They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. All right, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls or the ground and they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically, just toss them in an enemy's path and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on those giant freaks, so get out there and fight dirty. Okay, that could be really awesome. But first, we gotta get rid of something. Okay, there's a lot of them. <laughs> that worked. What the hell? Why are there beds in here? of these shots that we got. My problem is I panic. And then I whiff. Are you dead too? One more just for good measure. What? Okay, apparently five more for good measure. <laughs> Where do we go? Clock Tower brochure. St. Michael's Clock Tower. St. Michael's Clock Tower is a Baroque-style building which stands at the heart of Raccoon City. It has become a beloved icon and residents consider it to be emblematic of the city as a whole. St. Michael's Church erected this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several philanthropists. It was dedicated to the children born in the developing city, and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrification over the course of the early 20th century, and the student body of St. Michael's Elementary swelled to over 600 students. Unfortunately, St. Michael's Elementary was shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated, and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed with this once-beloved monument and public plaza on lockdown, 
but in the 1990s, the Umbrella Corporation worked in league with Mayor Michael Warren to renovate and reopen the area, this time with proper preservation efforts in place. The clock tower was officially reopened in 1993, and today, the sound of its heavy tolling bells can once again be heard throughout Raccoon City. just coming from. Are you kidding me? Well, that's all well and good, but, um, you know, I need space for it. So, that seriously sucks. Out that Carlos respond yeah what's up we didn't make it the train derailed derailed was anyone hurt no everybody's dead Mihail everybody <sighs> Nikolai left us to die wait what God, and that looks like a fucking fish. Explosive barrel over there. Fuck. Oh, that's not an explosive barrel. It's a freaking cone. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's so rude. What do we have in here? <gasps> oh, thank you. Okay. That's 
shit. Oh, that blew me up too. Oh, that's so nice of them. Shit, where'd it go? God, bless America! What's it going to turn into next time? <laughs> oh, Jill, you are brilliant. me a big favor. What the 
hill? What's going on? Jill! Hey, answer me. God damn it. Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I... I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. You hang in there, super cop. I got you. Hmm. So that's at the beginning. With some major foreshadowing. You're gonna be okay. I promise. Tyrell, where's Bard now? Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Copy. I'll go on ahead. So we've got something in here. The question is... What and where? Where was that? Guys, I'm blind. Thank God it puts it on the map. Wow. Right here, in front of my face. If it didn't put it on the map, I'd miss everything. Oh, that's good. That one just wants a snack. Spencer Memorial Pamphlet. Welcome to Spencer Memorial Hospital, the heart of Raccoon City's healthcare and the forefront of science. Spencer Memorial Hospital was meticulously designed by the Spencer Foundation to serve as the backbone of medical care throughout the region. In addition to our state-of-the-art outpatient wing and spacious inpatient wing, we boast one of the country's largest research wings, where we conduct clinical trials for new drugs that will change the face of medicine across the United States and the world. Yeah. And turn I don't got time for this! Seriously. Oh my god. Are you dead now? <sighs> the 
Is that Mr. X's hat? Damn it. So clearly we get the vaccine for Jill at some point. <laughs> or we get her lock picking stuff. Dr. Nathaniel Bard. Please state your business clearly into the intercom. Can I play it? It doesn't have a tape in it, so no. Not a fan of this music. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? Okay, I guess that's what we need the tape for. <laughs> like to have a little organization. It makes me feel like I have some control in this crazy game. They take so much damage. That guy's for sure busting out as soon as I get right there. open. Of course it's bulletproof. Why not? All these things I do not have. Oh, that's not creepy. Not creepy at all. Are we gonna have kid zombies? <sighs> My thoughts exactly, Carlos.
wonder how many of those things I've missed. Thank God. <laughs> this music just makes me so, so happy. Nurse's journal. Admitted over 20 mystery, mystery illness patients. Patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb necrosis, fever, muttering delirium, and signs of hyperphagia. Possible infection? Tried every antiseptic. Still no blood work back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was bitten while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the outpatient wing is complete anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off-duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We've got to contain this chaos. That is one job. Like, even right now with the coronavirus going on and stuff. God bless all you medical workers who are out there dealing with all these unknown illnesses and shit. Like, you guys are some serious rock stars. So if any of you are watching right now, thank you. Because I couldn't do it. Do I need five healths? Probably not. I mean, probably, but we probably also don't need to... Uh, be having five on us right now. Let's keep two. Two should be good. Famous last words, right? Alrighty, guys, I have stuff there. Um, it was much more fun this time. <laughs> uh, Nemesis is still a nightmare, but he wasn't quite as bad this time. That second boss fight with him was definitely a challenge just because ammo like always is a challenge uh, and I could have sworn at the end there I picked up some more rounds for my grenade launcher and they just weren't there so I don't know I feel like I was supposed to like shoot down that bell tower or the clock tower or something but I had no ammo to do it so I'd be curious to see how you guys did that fight if you did anything different uh, let me know in the comments below I'm really enjoying playing as Carlos um, Jill is cool, but it's just stressful because Nemesis is always around. With Carlos, it's more of that feel from Resident Evil 2, and I loved that. that The jump scare, the tension, the, the horror piece. With Jill, it's more it feels more like an action game. More like run around, and yeah, you still get that horror piece because there's still the regular zombies, but it's more like run away from Nemesis, dodge Nemesis. With Carlos, it feels more like that Resident Evil 2 horror jump scare, and that's what I really love about these games. So... I hope that you're enjoying the playthrough so far. I cannot wait to keep playing. Uh, if you're enjoying the playthrough and you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. And as always, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Have a great day.